Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. AMA responds to the FAA proposed rulemaking. The FAA UAS 2019 symposium is postponed. And DJI urges caution in evaluating reports of drone incidences. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Skylar Vanell. We start our program off with the AMA issuing a statement on the FAA proposed rulemaking. The FAA published a notice of proposed rulemaking on the operation of small unmanned aircraft systems over people and an advance notice of proposed rulemaking on safe and secure operations of small UAS. AMA's Executive Director Chad Budrow said in a statement, the proposed rulemakings on flying over people, night flying, and safe and secure operations are a step towards opening up the airspace for more commercial UAS operators. For model aircraft hobbyists, they do not anticipate the rules will have a big impact on existing guidelines for safe and responsible operation. AMA's community-based safety guidelines do not allow model aircraft flights over people, and they believe this is proven safety guideline for all recreational UAS operators. Budrow said AMA's safety guidelines allow night flying as long as a lighting system provides the pilot with a clear view of the model's attitude and orientation at all times is in place. AMA's safety guidelines address several questions raised in the ANPRM for safe and secure operations of small UAS. AMA recognizes the FAA's priority to put remote ID rules in place in order to better facilitate the integration of UAS into the nation's airspace. The association will continue to work with the FAA to adopt remote identification requirements that reflect the operational use of model aircraft. In the next drone minute, we will take a look at some of the stories making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Transport Canada has published new regulations for UAS and are set to go into effect on June 1st. They will require operators to pass a mandatory knowledge exam and a practical flight review in order to obtain a permit. RPAS operations are divided into basic or advanced operations and place restrictions on aircraft weight, airspace, and operator age. In communications with AMA, Model Aeronautics Association of Canada President Peter Schaefer said MAAC members are exempt from these regulations. Drone giant DJI has investigated more than 40 employees possibly involved in unspecified corruption, and they're handing those cases over to authorities. DJI said they hold employees to strict ethical standards and they take any violation seriously. During a recent investigation, the company found some employees inflated the cost of parts and materials for certain products for personal financial gain. DJI estimates this could have cost the company up to $150 million U.S. The LAPD SWAT team used a DJI Spark for the first time. On January 9th, after a nine-hour standoff, tear gas, and other tactics, LAPD sent in the drone to look inside the second-floor apartment. They were able to take the suspect into custody without using force. Small UAS are used in limited situations and under strict guidelines that consider community concerns and privacy. The LAPD is committed to transparency and constitutional policing. And to that end, we are releasing all of the video footage captured by the aircraft during the incident. With drones increasing in police departments, LAPD is leading the way for responsible usage. The AMA Expo East is a month away, and despite the dreary winter weather surrounding many of us here in the U.S., there is much to look forward to in a month from now. This marks the second year AMA has run this special event. It takes place at Secaucus, New Jersey, Meadowlands Exposition Center, February 22nd through the 24th. 
You can go to amaexpoeast.com for times and more information. Well, that wraps up your Drone Minute. The FAA UAS 2019 Symposium has been postponed. A number of events and programs have seen cuts due to the government shutdown. The new conference dates will be announced after FAA employees return to work. Once employees do return, the symposium partners will work with the FAA to build an event that will bring stakeholders together from all sectors to help define the rules and concepts that will govern the future of drone operations. We will keep you up to date when new dates have been announced. DJI is urging caution when evaluating reports of drone incidences. DJI is monitoring recent reports of drones flying in close proximity to various airports and has offered assistance to investigators and airports where these sightings have occurred. To date, none of these reports have been confirmed and there is no proof that any of these alleged incidents have occurred. Despite the lack of evidence, new sightings have been reported at more airports, raising the question that new reports are being spurred by publicity from past occurrences. DJI has urged caution in evaluating initial reports of drone incidents because many of them turn out to be wrong. The true culprits have included a plastic bag, structural failure, a bat, and a balloon. While there have been isolated cases of drones being flown improperly, drones have a strong safety record around the world. And the overwhelming majority of drone pilots want to fly safely and responsibly. DJI notes that it deplores any attempt to deliberately cause harm with a drone and fully supports criminal sanctions against people who are proven to have done so. And that wraps up today's show. If you have a story suggestion, go ahead and send us an email at news-spy at news.net. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. If you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. Check us out on social media and for real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories, go on over to aero-news.net. If you're looking for more information on the exciting hobby drone world, go to modelaircraft.org. We'll see you back here next week.